to that area. Now we're going to do our graft and see how we have a little bit of blood. So we're going to let the, the blood, let the graft incorporate into the blood. As remember, the bleeding bone um, has the precursors to what we really want to grow bone. It's like if you're growing cartilage, you want bleeding cartilage. So you'll get the growth from we get growth from the bleeding structure or tissue that we want. That seems to be what you grow. Open. I'm just going to keep packing this. As I, was, I just have tissue on the other side, so I have to pack it around the other side because I want to try and surround this with, um, with my graft. And the reason I have the, the dense HA in here is to help support the tissue because the oxygen uh, doesn't support it quite as, quite as well as the, the dense HA. We're almost done. Okay. I'm okay. My legs are getting tired. I know. Okay, now I'm going to bring this up. And that's pretty well already released. I don't have any pressure on that flap. But if I needed, if this, if this was under pressure, I would go in and release the the flap, but when I took off that granulation tissue, that pretty much released the flap. Let me have the small suction. I'm going to clean up the the graft a little bit in, in approximately. You're not going to get bone to grow up that far. And then I just kind of clean up the flap and the edges of the flap. silk to suture this together. Mm -hmm. It's very delicate suture, mm -hmm. suturing. Mm -hmm. Open just There's a couple sutures in approximately to tie down the inner proximal. Mm
This one off to a little bit. Okay, gauze. Now that completes the suturing. We're going to compress that a little bit just by putting a gauze and uh, putting pressure between my fingers to compress the, the graft between the teeth. And we're just going to wash off any excess. Now what we can expect, since this was this was not a concavity with a three or four sided bone lesion. It was bone on either side implanted in between and there was no buccal or uh, palatal plate of bone. So our expectations of, of bone to grow to the top of the implant is probably next to impossible. But with a fluoride and the hydroxyapatite should support that tissue and most of that will become fibrous um, encapsulated HA, which if does not become infected, will support the tissue. And I would expect that we would get some bone generation, um, especially between the implant and tooth number seven, because the bone there was just about to the top or a normal level. And then on tooth number six, we uh, decontaminated that and then etched it and then treated it with fluoride. And we might get some uh, bone attachment or um, uh, periodontal ligament or regeneration of that structure. But the key here is a fluoridated HA will prevent infection from getting in this area, which basically saves the implant without having to remove it. And that's about all we can expect in this situation. Imperial dressing in here. Okay. This concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to call me at 619-236-7959. We'll be happy to assist you in any way we can. Thank you.